Hey everybody, Joy here. No coffee. <laughs> I can't allow myself to have coffee over here. It is Thursday, January 14, 2021. And I'm going to record what my early Valentine's presents are. <laughs> And I'll probably do the devotional at the end today, okay? I know, oh, so many of you love the devotional and you bought the book, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that just want to see sewing and stuff, so I thought, well, I'll do the devotional at the end today because I have something to show you. <laughs> and I'm sorry about the window. I can't really block it. <laughs> so I hope you can see me better than you can see the window. Okay. Oh, what am I wearing? Oh my God, George, does she have a dress on? Yes, she does. Can you see it way over here? <laughs> I made a New Year's resolution. I know the year's already half over, but I thought, you know what? I have got dozens of things I have made hanging in my closet that I have never, ever worn. Mostly dresses because we don't go anywhere anymore. I don't go to work. We do church here at the house. If we go out to eat, it's at the Greasy Spoon in town. I call it the Greasy Spoon. You got to quit calling it that. I call it that affectionately. It's called the Country Kitchen. <laughs> so, I thought, I'm gonna start wearing my dresses if it's just to make my video in. Okay, so this is one of the dresses. It's way too big for me up here at the top, obviously. But it's a cute pattern. It's got all these little pleats right here. And of course, my favorite neckline, the boat neck. So, and I saw Viv wearing black tights the other day. I decided I can wear my black support hose. If Viv can do it, I can do it. Okay, so you want to see my blue fabrics I bought? You know about our uh, sew along? Viv and I are having a sew along. Go back two videos if you don't know about it. So I had to order some blue fabric. <laughs> now, Viv has verified that turquoise blue is blue. So this has some royal blue in it and some turquoise blue and some light blues. But I think it is just beautiful and it is so pretty. This is Robert Kaufman, but it just, it feels like silk. It is just yummy. Now I bet that brightens me up compared to the black, huh? I bet that just brightens me right up. <laughs> so, I will be making something blue out of this. Yes, you will see it on Instagram. I don't like to be on Instagram or Facebook or any of that stuff where they can like see you through your camera. But, in order to do this uh, sew along, we have to have a place for everyone to put their pictures, so. You might want to join Instagram just for a month, and then after the prizes are drawn, um, you guys can just get off Instagram then, because we won't need those pictures anymore. Here's another beautiful blue. This is an Edita Sitar. No, it's not. She doesn't do borders. Ooh, this is really pretty. Who is this? This is a Belle Epoch by Maywood Studios. Ooh, is that ever pretty? Hey, Jeffrey, how do you like this? My friend Jeffrey, you all know about Jeffrey, the APQS dealer who's a friend of mine in California. He sews. He makes all of his own shirts. So, Jeffrey, I expect something with blue in it. I expect you to make a shirt. How do you like this one? I have decided I really like these border prints. Ugh, it's just, mmm, yummy. Now, this one is mostly a cream color, but it has some blue in it. So you know that you can use a fabric as long as it has some blue in it, right? So, let's see who made this one. These are all from Missouri Star Quilt Company, by the way. This one is Maywood Studios. It's that Belle Epoch again. Let me see what this one looks like. Oh my Gosh, now this looks like I'm taking the wallpaper off the wall and I'm putting it on my body, but I don't care. <laughs> so 
So see how it has just a little blue? A little blue will do ya. A little lab will do ya. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Do you just love fabric or what? I'm going to do like this. I'm going to wash these in cold water because they are so pretty. And when you buy them from Missouri Star, they're, they're no sale going on. No sale going on. <laughs> and so this one is just a plain off-white. So it does not count. But again, it's Belle Epoch damask cream yardage. This, this Belle Epoch is a beautiful fabric. Look at that. Mmm. Luscious, luscious, luscious. Mmm. No blue, so I can't make this one for the contest. Now, this is probably what started it all. I'll bet this was the daily special. And I never get the emails on the daily specials. I have called them two or three times, and they said, Oh, we're sorry, we'll fix it. I just don't get them. I just had to tell Judy Kessinger and Glenda Sparling that I wasn't getting their emails anymore. So I don't know if Yahoo just doesn't like me and they, they've heard how much fabric I have and they're like, we are cutting you off, girl. I don't know. But I have to keep telling these people to email me stuff. So Glenda got me back on, Judy got me back on, but still no Missouri Star. So this must have been the deal of the day. This is Bell Epoch, which is what these are. And it's a, a layer cake. Is that what you call it? A layer cake? Gorgeous. They are so pretty. Look at the blues. The blues. Oh. 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 Just gorgeous. Look back here. They've got some, um, some oranges. Some, um, like that popsicle, you know? That orange cream thing. Mm. Every time the ice cream truck would come by our house when I was growing up, I would always get one of those push-up um, orange cream kind of uh, ice creams. Now, it just so happens, somebody got mixed up and thought yesterday was Valentine's Day because I got even more fabric. So let me show you the other fabric that I got. Now this is really, truly Viv's fault over there at Viv Mom Sews. She said, oh, Joy, the 70% off fabric is another 10% off today. <laughs> so I ordered this one, blue. This is a knit. Now, these are all 100% cottons here. These are quilting cottons. This is an ITY knit. These are from Fabric Mart Fabric. And this one is just a tiny print, which I hardly ever, ever buy. But maybe it'll look good. It actually is really, really pretty. From a distance, you can't tell. It looks like it's a little white polka dot. Huh? Very pretty. Oh, we have to do tag duty, sticker duty. I gotta take them off and take them upstairs. All right. Are you ready? The skew, this is the skew. C, S, B. Charlie Sam Boy, 6516W, Cornflower Blue, Black, White, Gray, Rayon Lycra, was it Peggy Sagers the other day that said Lycra is horrible, horrible stuff and she never buys it? Oh my, <laughs> I think she said that. <laughs> Hound's Tooth Print Jersey Knit, okay, so that's number one. Here's number two, and it's another blue. Did you notice? This one's more purple than blue, so it can't count. But this one is navy blue, so it can count. This one can count. Huh? How do we like this one? You are the first to see it. Huh? Let's get up close. Somebody said, your sign wasn't close enough. Well, I'm sorry. I tried really, really hard to get that sign close enough. My computer would not do it yesterday. This is very pretty too. These were like 70 off plus another 10%. I mean, my goodness. If it wasn't for shipping, they'd be practically free, I swear. So that's got to be washed. Now that one was cotton. Oh, I didn't read it. we got to get your sign. Hey, you 
can't go on the floor till I get your sign. What is the matter with you jumping out of my arms like that? And of course, it'll take me a week to find the sign. There it is. Do you have a sign? <laughs> okay. Midnight Navy Rosewood Periwinkle. 100% cotton, floral bunches, print shirt weight. The SKU is S.M. May, Sam Mother Apple, Sam Mary Apple, S.M.A. 8148D is in dog. That was that beautiful one. Mm. I know Viv got some too. I can't wait to see what one she got. That is just very, very, very pretty. Now this is a silly one. I thought of Viv when I bought this. And I thought if I don't like that one, I'll send it to Viv. Because <laughs> she looks really good in these funny prints. The kind of 50s prints, you know what I'm saying? But um, this is, let's read the skew on this number. D-L-A, Dog Larry Apple. 8156D is in dog. It's white, yellow, blue, multi, 100% cotton, double floral border, ladybug, polka dot. My goodness, I don't know how they get all that on their labels. And I love this again because it's a border print. It is luscious, luscious. Oh my goodness, that is going to be so stinking cute. And there's blue in it. There's blue in it. Look at that. So this I can use for our sew along, cover up that window. It is really hard to find a place in your house that doesn't have a window or a mirror. <laughs> okay, so that's a gorgeous one. Now here's another one that reminds me of Viv. She always buys these really fun prints. And I think, well, what is she gonna do with that? And then she always just knocks it out of the park, I'll tell you. This one is bubblegum pink, white, lemon, multi, 100% cotton, abstract, double border print, machine wash. Well, that's a good thing because I'm darn sure not going to wash it by hand. This is another double border. I must have been in the double border mood that day. You want to see it up close? These borders are really fun to play with. Cover up the window, Joy. Ah, oh, lusciousness. All right, this is SKU, CFC, Charlie Father Charlie, 6861W, and this is a Prussian blue. Now, Prussian blue counts, it counts. Prussian blue and white, 100% cotton, micro dotted. Yeah, it's made up of little pixels. Floral print shirt weight woven. Yeah. Up close. Up close and personal. What do you think? Huh? Woo! I'll go ahead and get it washed. And there's a one more and I have no clue why I ordered this one. I look horrible in brown. Horrible. You wouldn't think I would because I have brown hair. Well, I used to have brown hair. But I ordered this because of the blue. <laughs> you know, I knew this blue thing was coming up, right? <laughs> this SKU is SLB, Sam Larry Boy, 6838W, Sandalwood Brown, Mist Blue, Natural Green, 100% Cotton Tropical Floral Print. Let's see how it looks on me. Isn't the best. Sorry, the chair's in the way of everything here. Let's get up close. We definitely have blue. Cover up the wrinkles in my neck so they're not mistaken for the fabric. <laughs> I think this looks good on me. What do you all think? I think it looks good. I'm really shocked. It's kind of a different brown. It's kind of a coppery brown, and it has a lot of black in it. See? Well, I've got to get busy. Let me stand in front of this window. <laughs> Drives me crazy. <laughs> you can't even see me over here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go upstairs, 
and get it. First, I'm going to put some of this in the wash. How do I wash them? I'll put this one with this one and this one. I'll put these three together because they're all light. And I will throw in those shout color catchers. Then I will put this navy blue one. I bet it runs. Blues run. I'll put this navy blue one and this brown one and another dark. This one, these are all blue, so I'll put these three together in the washer. Then, this is so beautiful. Now see, this has a lot of white in it, so if it runs, it's going to run on itself. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's going in a separate pile for now. Now this one is going to go in with the other navy blues. So that's four navy blues. This is a blue and a white. So I'm going to put this with this turquoise one because this has white in it and that one has white in it. Still, I will definitely put the color catcher sheets in every load. Buy a truckload of those. I'll put a link below. Okay, and here we have another very white one. So it's going to go over there with those white ones. So I have three loads here that I'm going to wash. And I'm going to wash them. I always wash everything in warm water. And my warm isn't very hot. But Vince says she washes everything in cold water. So, I don't know. I hate to lose the silky. I don't know what's on them, but after you wash them and dry them, it, it loses the silkiness. No matter what they're made of. So, let's run upstairs, grab that devotion book, and see what the lady says for today. Stay with me. I can have coffee up here. <laughs> There's no carpet. Let's see what the devotional is today. Wrong book. All right, today's the 14th. This one is titled, Be Still and Listen. Now, I'm a good listener, but I'm hardly ever still. <laughs> I know Matthew Haggy's like me, he's always rocking. Oh, except it makes my friend Becky sick. She couldn't even watch Jerry doing the guitar because he was swaying back and forth. <laughs> it just made her nauseous. I can't imagine. I said, how on earth do you have a boat? <laughs> All right, be still and listen. Perhaps you have had the experience of being in a crowd of people and hearing a loved one call your name. How did you pick out that one voice from the cacophony of noise? It's a voice you love. How about that word cacophony? Viv had to call these people up and say, hey, put that word in that devotion. <laughs> That's a Viv word. <laughs> okay, back to the devotion. Do you recognize Jesus' voice in the noise of life? How do you know which voice in your mind is that of the Good Shepherd? I can tell you that without reading on, because it agrees with his word. You learn to know his voice by hearing it. You hear it by listening. You can only listen when you are quiet. Be still and listen for the shepherd's voice. The more you hear it, the easier it will be to recognize it. The scripture is John 10, 4. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them. And his sheep follow him because they know his voice. Oh, isn't that true, John 10, 4. Let me tell you something about hearing from God. This is one of the issues between me and one of, one of our kids, hearing from God. There are these churches that have these preachers that will call somebody up from the audience and they have a word for them. My daughter was attending a church like that for a long time, and Jerry and I used to visit it. And sure enough, we got called up and there was a word for us. 
One of my words was, the preacher said that I was like Esther and I wasn't afraid to confront people. <laughs> Wonder where he got that idea. But I got very upset with this preacher. He told my grandson, who was in high school, that he was going to go to OU and he was going to be a quarterback, a famous quarterback at OU. Complete, total nonsense. Nothing to do with the Word of God. I told my kids, I told my grandkids, if one of these preachers or prophets or whoever comes into town saying they have a word from God for you, number one, it will be something God has already spoken to you personally about. Number two, it will never go against the Bible. So, had some major disagreements on that. That's one of the many things that's caused the rift in our family. These crazy preachers giving words. It, it really, it really caused a lot of trouble. So, well, let's don't talk about that anymore. Let's stay on the happy tune. <laughs> I have a happy for you. One of you told me, I don't know how you all know this stuff, but this pattern called Safe Harbor, you can get it free. I don't remember what store has it free, but if you'll search Safe Harbor Pattern Free, it will come up. And this actually comes in two colorways. It comes in another colorway that is light colored batiks, and it is very beautiful also. I think I would have chosen it had I had the choice between the two, because the colors in the one I got are so much like the one that Terry made. Okay, so Safe Harbor featuring Wilmington Batiks. You can get the pattern free. Some of you said you couldn't see my sign very good. Two videos back, I announced, along with Viv, Viv Mom So, she has way, way, way more followers than I do, and I'm sure there's way more people over there at Viv Mom. But for my followers, I held up a sign to the camera, and some of you said you couldn't see it any good. So I, am I took a picture of it, and I tried to put the picture in yesterday, and it just would not work. So I'm going to try to take a picture of it again and try it again. <laughs> so if I can get the picture to behave and go into my video, I'll put it right here. Now, I told you earlier today that I have this New Year's resolution, now that it's the middle of January, that I'm going to find something in my closet that I have never worn. Something I made, but I have never worn. So this is number one. I have no idea what pattern it is. But if I can find the pattern, always, always look in the description box. The description box is right under every video in everybody's YouTube channel. There's a description box. Look down there, if I can find the pattern I made this with, if anybody's interested, um, I will put the pattern in the description box below. All right? So, look for me in something you've never seen before that I've never worn. It'll probably all be dresses, because I never wear dresses, and I don't know why I don't. You know, they're really quite comfortable because they don't bind you at the waist. They just hang from your shoulders, and they're really quite comfortable. I don't know why. I'd like to make a bunch of middies and just wear them all the time. So, and of course, you know, I have to wear these support hose. Um, and I always feel like the support hose are so ugly. And so that's one reason I don't like to wear dresses. But some of my support hose are really sheer. And you'll ask me, where are they? Who, how do you get them? I'll put a link to those below, although there's a bunch of different kinds. I wear 1520 compression most of the time. If I'm having a really bad problem with swelling, which I, I'm not having right now, my feet hardly swell in the winter, but they swell in the summer. I, I don't know what that's about. Because, I mean, the temperature is the same in the house all the time. Okay? <laughs> you want me to put my leg up? <laughs> see? Is that indecent? <laughs> Can you see how they're kind of sheer? So these, I think these are 1520s, okay, and you can pull them up. These are really nice because they go around your thigh and they have that, those, um, oh, I don't remember the type of rubber, some kind of rubber, and it, it's kind of like tape, 
and it just stays up. It keeps it from sliding down your thigh. And if it still slides down your thigh, you can use that glue. That stay, it stays glue. I have a bottle of this in my car. I have a bottle of this in Jerry's truck. I have a bottle in every bathroom. <laughs> I'm always gluing my bra straps or my socks one. <laughs> okay. Awesome stuff. We used to sell this at our store. It's about $12 a bottle, but it lasts a long, long time. Really nice stuff. Several of you have asked me about my um, compression hose. So, link duty below. Uh, affiliate link with Amazon. Okay? I'm starting my first blue outfit. I'll show you what pattern. I even colored it. <laughs> I even colored it. I'm having issues with the neckline. It looks like it's going to wrap around me two or three times. So I've got to work on that a little bit more. I have changed the dart because, you know, they've always got it up. You know, it, it'd be pointing to my neck instead of my boobs if I used their dart. And um, had to put the round back and the sway back. But this is called Safety Pockets Perfect Pair. And the reason uh, she's called Safety Pockets is she puts these hidden pockets in things. Let me see if I can show you one. There you go. Look at that. So that's inside the skirt. So that's where you can hide your credit card or your cash. And nobody will know you have any money on you. But I don't put those pockets in there. I have that little flax bag that Terry made me, and I use it all the time. So, I'll be showing you that soon. I'm going to put one more picture showing you how I ABC'd all of my fabrics yesterday. I'm going to put that right here. Goes all the way up to M. M for mother. Oh, and let me say something while this is here. Somebody, somebody sent this to me for Christmas. And it's got the total complete wrong address on it. Joanne in Nevada. So the reason I didn't mention this card is because I just got it not very long ago. <laughs> because it has the wrong address. So, we do not live in Edmond anymore. So, Joanne in Nevada. There is another Jerry Bernhardt. And his wife's name is Joyce. We are forever getting their mail. They are forever getting our mail. He's Jerry's cousin. And his name is Jerry Bernhardt. <laughs> With a different middle initial. But, of course, nobody ever uses your middle initial. So, we live in Kingston now. So... If you want to have my address to send me something, email me. You guys know my email. And um, then I'll give you our real address, which is in Kingston. Or, or somebody told me, if you search your name, your address is all over the place, Joy. So as long as it's in Kingston and it's not a P.O. box, that's probably our right address, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm going to let you go. I need to go finish cutting out my first blue garment for the Viv Mom Joy. Sew away the blues. So long. Bye for now.